Okay, so I want to give a physics thing out there as a disclaimer. Now, this is the same module online. So this is at houseoftutorials.net slash 3D turntable. So I left it right here um, as far as, you know, I have the ability to jump. Um, I can avoid the zombie, and the zombie's a lot slower. Now, why this is, even though the zombie's super fast back in my other uh, object right here, if I go to Unity and hit play, um, I have a super tweaked out zombie. He comes at me, and he's jittery too. See how jittery he is? And if I get, get near him the wrong way, he's going to cast me out in the middle of nowhere if I'm not careful. And I can't even get off the zombie because the zombie is totally dominating everything. Now, and he just ran away. Well, if you look here, I have none of those behaviors. And the difference between the Unity game engine being handled via the Unity game engine program and via online at houseoftutorials.net is how physics are handled. How physics are handled via the internet and I'm going to say that they are watered down a lot. So even if you have a bad behavior in the Unity game engine, I would not um, lose hope. I would compile it and throw it online or compile it and um, at least play it on a junkie machine or something because you definitely don't, you want to try it out on a lot of different sources. This might play smooth on this computer. On my laptop, it might play a little bit even even junkier than this. So, or what more water done than this. I like this. This has got a nice flow to it, and I, I feel that I could have fun avoiding the red cube, I guess, if I had some kind of mental problem for quite some time. But as a disclaimer or putting it out in the video goes, I just wanted to say something about physics and how it's all different on different machines. All video cards have different physics engines, it feels like, and um, it has a lot to do with not only the physics engine, but the processor speed and everything else will water it down also. Unless you have a PhysX card, which is a standalone card that goes into some PCs. All right, so that's it for this video. It is a disclaimer video as you watch me avoid the red square. Now, next, we're going to have to do a argument passed upon when the red square hits the green box, something happens.